So why should you play Salt and Sanctuary with me? I mean, besides all the obvious reasons. Well, Salt and Sanctuary, I think, has been a really interesting game. And so far, I've really enjoyed it. So just starting off, there are a ton of options in which you can play this game. Um, we have these, you know, direct classes that are just choices right off the bat. Knight, Mage, Paladin, Thief, Chef, Cleric, Pauper, and Hunter. Um, all of them have very diverse um, play styles and a lot of different options. Um, but let's go ahead. I'm going to go ahead and get out of character creation and go into what actually um, you can expect when you create a character and get into this game. So you do have numerous save slots. Keep that in mind. The game has a lot of replayability if you decide to play through it again as a different class. So, number one, uh, great, um, great music, great gameplay, honestly a really great game, but when you look at your, your tree of skills, it is abundant. You have a massive tree that you can explore over the numerous levels that you can acquire within this game. I currently don't know the skill cap. I would imagine that it's going to be incredibly high, at least 100. Um, but as you can see, I started off as a cleric, level 1, and I have the option to go into any tree from here I want, which means basically to the essential I can multi-class. So I could come over here and put a point into Berserker, I could put in Sword Fighter, blah blah blah. Granted, you have to connect all the squares, so you have to consider that aspect. If I start as a cleric, I start with Light Armor 1, and I start with Cleric 1, those are my two starting points on this web of skills so from there i can spread out and select other skills uh basically tailoring a character to my needs um depending on what i want to do certain maybe spells in particularly or if i want to build based on stats i have certain stat attributes i can pick within here or building with you know a particular weapon uh set in mind depending on the class of weapon so as you advance to the game uh higher tier weapons require you to pick up that level of skill in that weapon so you'll have to keep that in mind when you're building it out like um, heavy mace fighter uh, pikeman for using pole arms sword fighter for swords assassin you know for daggers you do have a lot of different options within here um, crossbows bows uh, all the way through all these different options then you get into you know some of the mage classes you have channelers and paladins um, just the mage class in general has a lot of options in using wands or um, different magics throughout the game. So there's a lot of variety within this tree. It is um, great. You have your, your stat points over here, which you don't influence directly. You influence it through what you select within the tree. Um, through here, you also have you know your stats as it appears. You have your hit points, uh, focus, stamina, um, attack, drop rate. Then also you have in here your, your overall defense stats, um, and they, this can show you your overall percentages and how efficient you are in them. So each level you get, um, so with each level you get an orb, an orb can be utilized in gaining a skill on this tree. You can also gain orbs throughout the game as you play, so there are you're going to get more skill orbs than you have levels. Leveling up is done through salt, so as you acquire salt, you'll do level ups. One thing I have yet to truly understand and the impact around it is the different deities. So currently I'm with a particular deity, but as you um, go through the game, you'll come across these different uh, sanctuaries, and within these sanctuaries you can take the oath of that sanctuary. So I don't know what changes if you do that. Oh god. Giant epic sword monster ahead. Okay. Oh, the sodden knight. 
I probably am gonna have to actually block on this fight. I really need to change block to a different button. What does he do? I don't know what he does, so I'm, I'm a little bit timid. Okay, good to know. Oh. Ow. That didn't kill me? I can't heal. Crap! Oh, dang. Oh god, oh god. These are significantly harder than what I was expecting. Yep. I, um, shouldn't have done that. Ugh. You gotta be kidding me! I probably want to try to defeat this big dude. Um... But he's scary. Ow. No. That, that sucked. Woo! Oh, I barely blocked that one. Oh, no. Come on. Ouch. Ow. Oh, no. I'm getting, I'm getting just destroyed right now. giant monster ahead. Oh no. It feels like you're limited um, early on as far as how many times you can cast a spell. It seems like I can cast up to three spells, each spell up to three times per day. Um, currently I only have three spells because I'm not too high of level. Um, all the armor has different armor sets and different values in which they affect your strike defense and different options. As you can see, there's some options here that unfortunately I can't wear because they require a specific uh, skill attribute. This one would require class 2 heavy armor, which I don't currently have. You have your rings and all the rings give you different stuff, like this one gives you increased willpower, this one... Um, does a implies elemental magic, but also implies elemental imbalance. That's going to be more towards the mage. This one gives increased strength. So as you can see, different rings are going to give you different uh, attributes. As my secondary weapon, I can switch just by hitting tab and I can... So also within the game, you have six spell slots. Had a different type of arrow, arrow um, in the secondary slot, that would be my right click. So you can have two different types of ammo. Uh, with it, so if I had like the flame arrows equipped in the secondary slot, when I right click, it would shoot flame arrows instead. You have six item slots, but within that, you have several different items you can equip within it. Different things do different stuff. They have kind of like funny little items, like a potato that really does nothing other than you can throw it at a foe. But then you have other stuff like potions or different. These are other types of potions. With um, also in your inventory, you can have charms, and these charms can be attached to different weapon weapon types. So in particular, if I were to have an actual weapon instead of a bow here, I could add a charm to that instead. Uh, but for my main charm, I'm using just increased attack power, but I could have an increased reach or increased attack speed, depending on what benefits the, my build the most. And honestly, right now I'm running out of things to talk about, so uh, you should just uh, play the game with me, please.